Okay, I'm going to talk for a minute about the um, uh, TAG um, uh, cut-off tool post. Okay, it's a steel tool post that TAG sells, and for quite a few years now they've sold this tool post. And um, so anyway, I'm going to make a couple cuts with it and um, try to figure out how this thing works. Okay. Um, it's kind of an interesting tool post. It um, it mounts on the opposite side of the carriage. So, with that, um, I'm going to move the camera a little bit and see if I can ex try to figure this out and explain it. So, here we go. Um, so here's the tool post right here. It's made out of steel. It mounts to the back side of the carriage. Let me zoom out a little bit here. It mounts to the back side of the tag carriage and um, the blade in this tool post is mounted basically upside down. In other words the cutting point is on the bottom edge of the blade. And this blade also um, as it moves through the slot um, it moves at, a, at an angle. Uh, it's slanted down. So as you move the blade forward through the slot it become it becomes a different height basically okay and um, so with that said me uh, let's crank this out a little bit here now I've got a, a little height gauge right here that I can put under that blade and I can get that blade dead on center so that's what you have to do if you keep moving the blade out, in other words, if you want to cut off a, a larger diameter than this, than this would handle right, it wouldn't work. You'd have to either shim the whole tool post up or something of the sort. But basically, it's sticking out about a half an inch, so it would probably cut off a good three quarters of an inch uh, piece of bar. So that's how it works, uh, as far as I know. And I've actually, I've had it for ever since Tag sold it uh, for quite a few years now and um, actually I've never used it so this is the first. I may have used it once back in the day but um, I've actually never never used it. Another problem with it is it's got this block on this side here that tightens against the blade and um, so that block right there keeps you from getting close to the chuck. When, you, when you're parting off you'd like to be as close as possible to the chuck. You don't want a bunch of material sticking out like I have here. But this block of, uh, this clamping block on this back side keeps you from doing that it looks like to me. So anyway that's, um, so I've got a little piece of 3 8 material steel, 1018 steel, um, in a collet, in a 3 8 collet here. So I'm going to try to cut that off and this blade hopefully is sharp although I'm not sure about that but we'll see. And um, so here we go. I'm going to reorient the camera again. I don't think I can get in here the way things are. No, I'm going to have to move the camera again. So. Okay, let's see how that works. That may be, it may work there. So I've got some oil here. I'm sure I'm going to be in your way, unfortunately. That's just the way it is, I guess. I'm going to lock the carriage here, and I'm going to get as close. But see, I'm I'm at least uh, half to three quarters of an inch out here on this uh, piece of metal. Well, that's not good. We're using a regular normal size cutoff blade. I guess it's what, 60,000? Something of that effect. There's absolutely no chatter. I'm theoretically making the cut in this direction is probably a better situation than 
making the cut in the what we normally do from the other side. It's, it's taking that material right off there. Now I don't know if it's exactly centered, but that little height gauge I used is pretty close. So I'm sure it'll it'll part it off. That's a piece of 1018 steel. There it comes, see? Parted that right off. Okay, with that and that little explanation I just made, and I guess um I guess that was correct. So now what I'm gonna do is uh let's see here if I can find a um I'm pretty sure this is taking out about a half an inch. Let me see. Yeah, pretty close to a half an inch. So what I'm going to do, if I can find a piece long enough, is I'm going to put a piece of three-quarter inch material in here. That's about as big as it'll be able to cut off. And um, I'll have to mount the four-jaw chuck or something on here to do that. So I'll shut the camera and I'll bring you back in a sec. Okay, I've got it chucked up in there. It's actually, I think it is about seven eighths. I'm not sure. Hopefully, that'll it'll get through there. We'll see. some of the swarf here if I can. There it comes. Actually did a nice job. Perfectly symmetrical. Let me get my calipers here. Let 
here's a piece of the material right here. So it is 875, right? Oh, you can see that in the caliper. Anyway, <laughs> I can't find it there, but anyway, it's a 7 8. So let's see how symmetrical this is. Well, it looks damn good. 62 62 looks pretty good so it did a great job I'm satisfied with it I don't know as I, I'll I'll use it in the future but um, there's been some comments out there that it doesn't work but it does work things do have to be solid you can't have you know, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't try this with it chucked up in that stupid scroll chuck they got. But uh, the forge out holds things pretty good. So I, I pretty much use that chuck all the time. So I'll post a little video on this. And um, you, can see, you can see what's going on. Let me take this off here. I forget the number of this thing. It has a number to it, a tag number. So I'll look that up and, and post that in the video. Well, but there it is. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit here. Well, there it is right there. But you can see, I don't know if you can see that. See, you can see the blade is sloped downhill. So you only can, you, you got to just move the blade out on this side until it hits center and that's it. And that's we're at seven eighths of an inch. That's about the maximum diameter it can cut off. It might cut off an inch, but I'm not sure. Anyway, with that, um, I'll call off here. And uh, so a little short video if anybody's interested in the take tool post. So I know that's not a very good explanation, but it's something anyway. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.